What's up everybody, Justin here to do a new show, new series of shows that I thought of. Has nothing to do with me talking about wrestling history or anything like that, but it is wrestling related. So, maybe some of you will enjoy this. This is me showing, this is part one. And there'll be many parts. This is me showing some of my uh, wrestling figures collection. Maybe some of you will enjoy it. Maybe I'll bring back a lot of good memories to some of you. Maybe some of you own some of these figures. Some are from the Attitude Era. Some are from the 80s. Early 90s. Late 90s. Uh, some are even, I believe, one or two are from the 2000s. So I have a ton of wrestling figures. I've been collecting them since I was like four years old. I've never sold any. I, I have lost a few. After when I moved, in like 2003, I moved to this house. And I don't know, I was missing a few. Must have left them at the old house or something, or somebody stole them. I don't know. But anyways, I, I'm i a big fan of collecting wrestling figures. I don't really buy that many of the new ones anymore, but I have a few. Not that I won't ever buy a new one that I don't have, because I will. Because... Again, I collect them. None of them in the boxes. Because when I was a pre-teen, when I was a kid, pre-teen, teenager, I wanted to take them out of the boxes. And I put on matches in a ring with them. <clears throat> so, the first one. Probably the oldest one I got. One of the few oldest. I don't have the, see the year on this first one. I'm going to share with you. I believe it's from like 84. Or 84, 85, 86 maybe. It came out, I don't know, a year. It's probably worth a ton of money. If it was in the box, but it's not. Because I was a, like a four year old kid. When I got this one. Of course I want to take them out of the box play with them. So here it is. The original. Probably the first ever WWE WWF figures they ever made they were just doll they were called dolls but I call them wrestling figures it's probably the first they made they couldn't move around much they're rubber hard rubber they couldn't move their arms or lift up their legs but here it is Hawk Hogan he's very dirty and I don't know how this some red crap paint got on them. Here's uh, his original hair color. was like totally faded. So a long time ago I painted it yellow. Same with his tights. I tried to paint them yellow because the paint wore off. See his knee pads. Worn away. Paint wore off. So here it is. The original. Probably the first ever. WWF figures. I believe it's the first ever they ever made. Here's Hulk Hogan. I actually have his. I should have got the champion. I actually have his original championship WWF title belt. But it's uh, not up here. It's not here in my room. I'll share that original title belt with you in another video. Here's Hulk Hogan from I believe 84 early 80s it's probably worth a lot of money I don't really want to look up how much it's worth cuz I'll get pretty angry and probably depressed about it so now here's another Hulk Hogan one from the early 90s 94 I believe it says 1994 on it Hulk Hogan from WCW there it is there's Hulk Hogan from a WCW figure release. 
Jiu-Jitsu is made by. Doesn't have a... Doesn't have the company that made it. I don't know who it was. But they all say made in China. <laughs> Anyways. So here it is. Hawk Hogan from WCW 1994. There's the back of him. The rib shirt. I mean he doesn't move around but still cool looking. Here's another one. Hawk Hogan from the late 19. 90s WCW figure release again it doesn't have the company that made it or maybe it does it says OSFT I don't know what that means Hollywood Hogan here's Hollywood Hogan NWO shirt Hollywood bandana actually has a lightning bolts on the side actually has a button on the side of him because he actually vibrated <laughs> I'm not making a joke I'm not making a joke he actually vibrated when you press his button he would shake like this I don't know why that's pretty damn weird that you have a wrestling figure vibrate anyways in the back of his ass he could uh He's a screwdriver, there's a battery in there, the battery's dead, but there is a battery in there. So here's Hollywood Hogan. Here's the original, 84 Hawk Hogan. Hollywood Hogan, WCW Hawk Hogan. So there's, I got a couple more Hawk Hogan figures that I'll share in another video. So now I'm going to share some Attitude Era figures first one can you read that on the back of his vest maybe you can't too sexy Brian Christopher there's Brian Christopher it's too sexy on his tights this is probably 98 a 98 release from uh, Jack's Pacific see the year on it can barely see it. it. Says 1998. So there's Brian Christopher. Never was a big fan of the guy, but I would buy every single figure I would see, basically in the late 90s. So here's Brian Christopher. I was a fan of this guy, Degeneration X member, X Pac. He's not in his wrestling gear. I do have an X-Pac with him in his wrestling gear, but here's X-Pac in an uh, X-Pac t-shirt and jeans. There's X-Pac. See his shirt? I don't know why they sold this uh, just X-Pac in street clothes, but there he is. More uh, Attitude Era. Shawn Michaels, a heartbreak kid, one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. Here he is in his uh, red, wet red gear. The hearts on the side. Shawn Michaels, uh, look at the guy's face. It barely looks like him. It's damn creepy. <laughs> That's creepy. The face he's making. So there's the red gloves, red boots, there it is. Here's another Shawn Michaels figure. Looks the exact same, but it's different gear, white. White gear, black and white boots, the red and black hearts. There's another Shawn Michaels, black gloves. So here's another Attitude Era figure. I believe this is from 99. I can't even see the year. It's like super tiny writing. I can't tell the year, but I believe I got it in 99 or 2000. Might be a year 2000. 
uh, figure. Anyways, Y2J Chris Jericho with the long hair. Back when he had long hair. Well, he's starting to grow long hair again, but here is Jericho from 2000. Look at the gear. Uh, yellow, I don't know what those are, lightning bolts. So there's Y2J Chris Jericho. Here's another uh, WCW 1999, I believe, release, or 98, WCW Hollywood Hogan. Let's see what it says, 1999. The company that made it is called Toy Biz. Here's Hollywood Hogan from 1999. Yeah, you know, it's boots, blue flames, says Hollywood on the side, for life, I don't know if you can see that, so there he is, Hollywood Hogan, His arms move, can bend them, big boot, big leg drop, I actually have the NWO t-shirt that he actually wears, but again, I don't have it up here. So now, one more, or three more. Three more from the Attitude Era. Then I'll go to different times. And I'm not going to share all my figures because that would probably be a two hour show. I'm going to do different parts. Here's from the Attitude Era. Jerry, I actually have his crown, but I don't put his crown on him. Here's Jerry the King Lawler. Blue and white gear. Black boots. There's, uh, look at his face. Uh, it kind of looks like him. I'm, I don't dislike Jerry Lawler, but I'm not a fan of the guy. He blocks me on Twitter, but he has a right to it. Another Attitude Era star. Mankind. This is, uh, like, his arms move all over the place, as you can see. He's out of control. There's a mandible claw. There's his face. So there is Mankind from uh, probably 1998-99. Again, I can't see the... It says 1998. There's a back. This thing up and down. They actually have his scar. His scar he has on his arm is actually right there. Where he cut himself in Japan. And he's in death matches. And he still has a scar. So there's Mankind. Now Rocky Maivia the Rock. Before he's a rock. This is Rocky Maivia. See his boots cut out. Blue trunks. It's a freaking uh, out of control. Pineapple hair. <laughs> Face kind of looks like him. So there is the rock. Rocky Maivia. Not the rock. Rocky Maivia. That probably came out in 97. That Rocky Maivia figure. So now some uh, WCW. I believe this was released in. Let's see. 1999, 1999 release, Big Sexy, the arms as you can hear, I don't know why they can't make that annoying sound, Big Sexy Kevin Nash, there he is, NWO on his gear, whatever this is, the ruffles, his face, uh, Kind of look, doesn't, 
Looks more like Fabio than Kevin Nash. Uh, he was uh, 90, probably 99. Action figure release from WCW. Booker T. Here's Booker T. Booker T. You got the flames on the side. Eh, it kind of looks like Booker T, I guess. So there's Booker T. We got another Booker T. Or two more. Actually, two more Booker T action figures I'll share in another video. So we got, uh, I'll share right now. Here it is. Here's one of the other Booker T figures. This uh, gear is, uh, has some kind of dust on it. I'm trying to wipe it off. So here's the other Booker T. Black. Black pants, flames. Actually, so there's BT on his boots for Booker T. It's the back of him. This one actually has uh, sunglasses. The other one doesn't. And a do rag on. There's Booker T from probably 99. This was released. So now, here's uh, another Attitude Era figure from, I believe, 99. I think 1999 or maybe 2000. The Undertaker. There's The Undertaker. Really looks nothing like him. So there's the Undertaker. This is like his 1999, I guess, the ring gear. Two or three more to show you from this probably 2001 or two. Let's see the year. It says 1999, but I believe it came out in 2000 or 2001 is when I got him. Kurt Angle, the uh, back when he had hair. I have another Kurt Angle where he's bald, but here's Kurt Angle back when he had hair. See his face? It looks like him, but he looks pretty creepy. There's Kurt Angle, red boots. Here is a uh, 2000, I think, 6 or 7 release. It says 2004 on it, but he wasn't even in the company in 2004. This uh, ring gear is from when basically he made his uh, ECW debut in the WWE. This is CM Punk. CM Punk. There he is. And tape on his hands. A couple of tattoos. Back then he didn't have both of his entire arms covered. I believe he didn't in 2006. It's a straight edge. I mean, but it kind of wore off. It says punk on the back. Kind of, I guess it looks like him. Or CM Punk. Oh, one of my favorites because of the robe they have with them. Here is the Nature Boy Ric Flair from probably 2004 or 5 is when this came out. Here it is. This red robe that he actually wore at WrestleMania 8. It's the Nature Boy Ric Flair. See, it says Ric Flair. I mean, in person, the robe looks better to me in person than on video. Face, I guess he's wooing. So there's a Nature Boy Ric Flair under the robe. He has 
red trunks and red boots. So there's the nature of boy. Hope you enjoyed some of my wrestling figures collection. This was part one. And there will be many more parts. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it brought back some good memories for you. If you are uh, currently have any wrestling figures, comment below. Tell me the ones you own. Or just a few you own. You don't got a list all of them. Just tell me five or ten you own. Hope you enjoyed this wrestling figures, my wrestling figures collection part one.